I'm Dale Earnhardt. You're watching Inside Track. Hi, and welcome to Inside Track. This month, we'll take you to Daytona Motor Speedway during Speed Week for the Daytona 500. We're also going to take a look at Monte Carlo's leading competitor, both on the NASCAR circuit and in your dealership, the Ford Thunderbird. But first, here's Mike Kraft with the latest news from Chevrolet. Thanks, Asha. GM has announced that they're merging GMC truck with Pontiac into a single marketing unit to be headed by Roy Roberts. And after a very successful tenure that really delivered a renaissance for Chevrolet, Jim Perkins is stepping aside as general manager to be replaced by John G. Middlebrook, the former general manager of Pontiac. We'll surely miss Jim and wish him good luck in future endeavors. There's no doubt that buyers are purchasing the Monte Carlo because they want an extension of their personal space. And the Monte Carlo achieves this desire. Since its introduction, it has been nothing short of a winner. Sales are booming. J.D. Power has ranked it in the prestigious Under 100 Club for initial quality, a very significant accomplishment. Auto analyst Jack Gillis rated the Monte Carlo and Lumina the best large cars in the 1996 edition of the car book. Another terrific testimonial on their all-round safety and value. And on the NASCAR circuit, it's been victory after victory. This month, we went to Daytona Beach, Florida to catch all the action at Daytona Speed Week. And as you probably know, Dale Earnhardt was edged out by a fraction of a second for the victory. But he and Ken Schrader placed Chevy Monte Carlo in two of the top three places. And Dale followed up with a big victory at the Goodwrench 400 in Rockingham, North Carolina. The Monte Carlo has proven beyond a doubt that it is the big winner on the NASCAR circuit. I feel good about it. It's one of our favorite races, Glenn. Uh, Chevrolet, we, in our Chevrolet, we won this race six times for the last six years in a row. So we definitely want to keep that streak alive until we work our way on toward that date on the 500. So. Really looking forward to the race today. Our Inside Track team talked with Glenn Maddox, the head of Chevrolet's race shop team, to get some behind-the-scenes views of Chevrolet's ties with NASCAR. This history that we have is absolutely awesome. When you look around today and you see all these Chevrolet fans that are in this, these stands, there's 90,000 of them today. Race day, there'll be around 200,000. This week, through this town alone, there'll be over a million people that come in just for this racing event. So this gives us an opportunity to have a venue for our cars and a, this is a Super Bowl of racing. This is the biggest event of the year and for us to go out there and have our cars in front of all these loyal race fans and all these people, all the television out there, it's extremely important for us. Secondly, NASCAR racing has grown so fast and it continues to grow every year. The television audiences continue to grow literally by the month. And NASCAR is right at the top of that. It's, it's, it's outgrowing NBA basketball, if you can believe that. Another important thing that's extremely important is the female audience. About 38% of the people that enjoy NASCAR racing are females. That's extremely important to us because about half of our market is female. So it continues to grow. We plan to be here. And more importantly, we always plan to win when we come here. 
Teamwork is crucial to winning. It's also instrumental in selling cars. It takes a committed team that starts with the salesperson at the wheel selling cars. But the factory, manufacturer, and all the support staff in the dealership combine to make a sale. Glenn explained the importance of teamwork. If everybody's working together, everybody's communicating, and everybody's trying to do the right thing, you're going to win. You're just going to be better prepared whenever you go out there. And if you look at the CSI figures that we have coming in from retail, they're improving CSI daily. So that means that they're doing teamwork on a daily basis and doing it very well. And whether it's a team on the showroom floor and in that retail dealership doing what they do best, or it's a team out here with the bow tie on the hood doing what they do best, they're all constantly striving to do it the very best that they can. But I'll tell you what, we've done a lot of talking here. I'd like to take the audience and we'll go down and I'll give you some real live examples of teamwork. So why don't y'all come on with me, we'll take a walk. This is a 1995 Winston Cup champion. We're so proud of him. Not only is he a Chevrolet dealer, he is an all-time, big-time team player. And teamwork is so important, Rick. We're so proud to, to be associated with you. How important is that to you whenever you go out and you start racing? Well, you know, it, everybody's fairly equal, and, and, the, and the difference is people. And uh, our guys work real hard. They share information. And, uh, you know, we pick up a lot of things that we do in our dealerships to be successful. You know, you just work hard together, and each department has to be, you know, 100% to be successful. And in racing, it's the same way. Larry, no doubt you're one of the best yeah. racers out here, tactician. How does racing, whenever you're de dealing with your team here, how do you equate that back to the show floor, back at the dealership, where you're trying to do all the right things, you're working on CSI, you're working on trying to increase sales, and all the things that Chevrolet dealers do. How do you equate that, what you do, and some of the systems you use here? Do you use some similarities? Well, there everyone has to work together to do that. The service department, they support the sales department. The sales department supports the service department. You know, the things that you have to do to be successful in racing, the same thing you have to do in business. We've got a really good product. we just got to learn how to market that. And, and you guys have helped us a lot. Our people believe in what we do. There's a little extra motivation with us because we do have a race car, and they can say, that's my car running on Sunday. But, but uh, it's tremendous uh, to have a car like the Monte Carlo to race. That makes it easy. Well, you know, I worked as a service rider in a Chevrolet dealership uh, years ago. Teamwork, you know, is the most important thing we got going for us. You know, you know, we're all one big team. This this organization is one big team, and we all work together. But you also you have little teams inside the big team, like just like for the being the gas man, for instance. You know, there's three of us guys that work together, and uh, you know, it's it's me. And then I got the guy that hands me the second can, and I got the guy that catches the gas. So that's a team inside of the big team, and, and that's the way that works. And, and you got to have, you got to have all the gears turning together. If you get one gear that's got a, a tooth chipped off of it, then it's not going to work right. So you got to have all these things working together. And teamwork is, you know, what makes this whole thing. That's what wins us championships. That's what puts us up front, and that's what makes this thing work like it does. Whether or not you believe in the old adage, win on Sunday, sell on Monday, any dealership can take advantage of the excitement of NASCAR and the winning spirit of Chevrolet. Promotion is a, is a very important part of, this, of the sales business. And you would promote NASCAR or any kind of racing. If there's a Trans Am race in your town, if there's a super truck race or close by, you'd promote it just the same as you would anything else. It doesn't take very much to put some banners on the showroom floor and out in the shop, put people in uh, checkered t-shirts and caps with the dealership name on it. They can also, uh, we have the ability through the teams for them to rent a car on the showroom floor. Talked to a dealer the other day, he had Dale Earnhardt's car on the floor and had 6,000 people in that through there just looking at the car. I mean, that brings people out. Well, of course, they can uh, uh, run uh, tie-ins uh, through the newspaper, uh, their TV, individual TV ads. Um, but the biggest thing I think they can do is, is have the in-dealership incentives for their people. And uh, at least in our area, 
this is something that really provides the motivation that's necessary to, to go the extra mile as far as the salespeople are concerned. I'm here with Terry Dolan, the Assistant Brand Manager Marketing for the Monte Carlo. Terry, it seems that Chevrolet is truly committed to racing, and from what we've heard, all the NASCAR teams have been very complimentary about the Monte Carlo. Can you tell me, what is it about racing that relates to sales at the dealership? Well, Mike, Chevrolet has had a rich heritage with racing. We've been into it for many years, and we've been a winner for many years. The actual transference that you have is an aura of image that's created for the buyer of the vehicle. They see the car winning on the track and they're inspired by that and want to be part of that winning team when they drive the vehicle down the highway. So they like to feel as though they have an image of themselves as a race car driver. Well I think there's some of that for the race enthusiasts that there's a transference of that image to the product they drive but if not there's also the transference in the design of the products the aerodynamics of it the technology and many of the product advancements that we have on an ongoing proving ground basis that racing provides us and is there something specifically about being associated with nascar that has a draw for monte carlo well nascar certainly is the major leagues of automotive racing and there's nothing like winning the super bowl of racing like being down at daytona or some of the other major events like the Brickyard 400. Again, we've been able over the years to demonstrate what it takes to be a leader at those events. So Terry, if NASCAR helps promote the Monte Carlo and brings people into the dealership, what is it about the production Monte Carlo that really appeals to these buyers? Well, we start out from the, the very beginning with the design of the automobile. It's sleek, it's aerodynamic, it's been tested well through our labs. We have superior ride and handling through an enthusiast-inspired suspension. We have safety built into the car through 1997 side door impact standards as well as five cross car beams to provide a rigid frame for the automobile to operate from. We also have an ergonomically friendly interior where we have placed the controls in a cockpit arrangement for the driver so everything is with easy reach to operate and to enjoy the total driving experience from the personal space of their Monte Carlo. So it's the look that brings them in, but it's the ride that gets them to buy. Clearly the ride has been developed to provide a sporty flair so that the enthusiast has the ability to enjoy his driving experience, but not to make it too harsh or rough so that when you do use the city streets that we have, that you can have a comfortable experience to and from the office. Okay, thanks Terry. NASCAR demonstrates the added value of Chevrolet's ongoing motorsports commitment. But it's a correlation that brings sales into your dealership. Because for each of NASCAR's strengths, there's a corresponding benefit for the production Monte Carlos. The Monte Carlos you sell don't go as fast as the NASCAR racers, but they do provide plenty of spirited performance. The Monte Carlo LS boasts the standard 3100 V6, which pumps out 160 horsepower, while the up-level Z34 sophisticated 3.4-liter dual overhead cam, 24-valve V6, produces an outstanding 215 horsepower. <laughs> Chevrolet engineers take the information they've learned from racing and translate it into the Monte Carlo for the street. Race-bred technology like roller rockers and lifters for the engines, advanced lightweight parts for maximum efficiency, four-wheel independent suspension, and four-wheel disc brakes on the Z34 are just some of the thoughtful engineering features that go into the Monte Carlo. These engineering advancements help assure a quality design on the leading edge of technology. With instrumentation, there's a direct relationship on the Monte Carlo. It's designed around the driver, so it's easy to see and easy to check. Controls are ergonomically designed. Steering wheel mounted radio controls let the driver change the volume or station without taking a hand off the wheel. And what could be more driver and passenger oriented than available dual climate controls for separate temperature settings? The aerodynamic look of the Monte Carlo is very similar to the racers. 
This sleek styling is one of the reasons the Monte Carlo is so popular with mid-size sport coupe buyers who put a priority on exterior styling. In fact, the J.D. Power recent appeal study ranked the Monte Carlo as the second highest sports sporty car behind the Corvette. The appeal study exclusively measures owners' intangible feelings about the vehicles they drive. Also, to satisfy Monte Carlo customers' desire for enhanced personal space, there's a new sunroof option. It's available as a free-flowing option on both the LS and Z34, as well as its sister car, the Lumina sedan. It can be retracted or just vented. And its unique design minimizes intrusion, keeping maximum headroom and interior space, a critical concern for Monte Carlo buyers. Basically, look through here and see it's, uh, it's, it's about as safe as you can build anything. It's, uh, you've got uh, roll cages around you, uh, fire extinguishers, so basically anything that can go wrong, we're pretty much prepared for it. The stock Monte Carlos start with a rugged safety cage that surrounds the driver. This world-class body structure with five lateral cross members and side door beams helps protect the occupants in the event of an accident and helps the Monte Carlo meet 1997 federal side impact standards already. Just like in NASCAR, the Monte Carlo's top competitor is the Ford Thunderbird. For 1996, the T-Bird's Super Coupe model has been deleted, leaving the LX as the only trim level available. Styling changes for 96 include new fascias, new hood, new lights, both front and rear, and other exterior and interior trim revisions. This freshening of a body style that was introduced in 1989 was aimed at keeping the T-Bird the segment leader. But hold on! Here comes the Monte Carlo. The Thunderbird sales have been shrinking since 1994. Compared to the first quarter of the 1995 model year, the Monte Carlo is up 10%, while the restyled Thunderbird is hurting down 35 percent in sales. Like its NASCAR brothers, the Monte Carlo advantages start with performance. The Monte Carlo LS's standard 3100 V6 boasts 10 percent more horsepower than the T-Bird LX's base 3.8 liter, although the T-Bird does have more torque. The T-Bird's optional V8 has more torque than the Z34 standard 3.4 liter V6. But the dual overhead cam, 3.4 liter, six cylinder, still produces more horsepower than the T-Bird's V8. And to top it off, both of Monte Carlo's engines provide better EPA fuel economy estimates than the comparable Thunderbird engines. In fact, the Monte Carlo LS's 3100 V6 has better city and significantly better highway mileage estimates than the T-Bird's base 3.8 liter V6. One other key Monte Carlo advantage for many customers is its front-wheel drive powertrain. In the past 20 years or so, more and more customers have chosen front-wheel drive vehicles. In many cases, they choose front-wheel drive because the engine and transmission are placed over the drive wheels for improved traction on certain road conditions. Check out what your customers drive into the lot. If it's a front-wheel drive setup, ask them if this is an important consideration. And if so, point out that the Monte Carlo has it and the Thunderbird doesn't. Once inside a Monte Carlo, you can point out its comfort and convenience advantages versus T-Bird. The Monte Carlo LS can seat up to six with custom cloth 6040 seats. The T-Bird only allows five passenger capacity. And the Monte Carlo features optional dual climate controls for separate driver and passenger temperature settings. Another exclusive you cannot buy on T-Bird. When you look at the pricing of the two cars, you see that the Monte Carlo LS boasts a base MSRP that is $200 lower than the Thunderbird. However, because of their slow sales, Thunderbirds are sporting a $600 rebate through April 2nd, giving the T-Bird a $400 base price advantage. But remember that the T-Bird makes buyers pay an additional $570 for anti-lock brakes, which are standard on all Monte Carlos. The bottom line is that the vehicles will probably be comparably priced. But there are some additional Monte Carlo exclusives you can point out to your customers. Like low oil level and low coolant level lights, which help alert the driver when these fluids are low before a potential problem occurs, a feature not available on Thunderbird or spark plugs that allow drivers to travel 100,000 miles before the first scheduled tune-up, long-life coolant, 
and Dexron 3 automatic transmission fluid, which never needs changing under most circumstances. Or the standard Passkey 2 anti-theft system, which helps prevent the car from being started without the properly coded key. T-Bird does offer an anti-theft system at extra cost. The Monte Carlo features a standard theater lighting package, which gradually dims the interior lights when the doors are closed, giving time to find your key. Another Monte Carlo exclusive. And finally, there's the Chevrolet Customer Care Package. Ford offers a similar package, but their three-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty excludes tires. Chevrolet's limited warranty includes the tires for an added value. It's just part of a total package for Monte Carlo. A package that's loaded with exclusives that aren't available on the Thunderbird at any price. It's just another reason why Monte Carlo is a sure winner. Last month, we told you that Ford had announced rebates on their all-new Taurus to help spur slow sales. They're taking another step by introducing a Taurus G model that is priced $605 lower than the base GL. This decontented model will go on sale April 3rd, the day after a $600 rebate for the Taurus expires. That makes the lowest priced Taurus still $1,650 more than a base Lumina. This means you still have an excellent opportunity. Get your prospects behind the wheel of Illumina and let them experience the ride and comfort for themselves. And for a complete review of all the Illumina advantages versus the Taurus, check out November's Inside Track release. GM has announced it will offer its impact-based electric car for sale or lease in late 1996 in California and Arizona. The car will initially be sold at Saturn stores with a price tag in the mid $30,000 range. Automotive News notes that Kia has delayed their 1996 Sportage until at least May, and it might be scrapped completely. That means the 1995's still on the lot will not have a passenger side airbag, giving the four-door tracker a definite safety advantage. That's our program for this month. Remember to fill out and send in the response card located in the video sleeve. One winner from each region will receive a computer-based training station capable of running the Prospect program. And as we go out, here's another look at Speed Week in Daytona.